Gaffer Cheltenham to come tomorrow, a team that are fighting for their lives and a team that gave us a really tough game at their place back in December. What kind of challenge are they going to give us? It was a really tough game. We've, I thought for the first 20 minutes we were very good. We dominated the game, but the nail man sent off and after that it just, it just threw things a little bit and we struggled. I think a lot of teams struggled there a couple of weeks. So a week before that, I watched Portsmouth get beat there. Um, I think since Darrell's gone and he's done a tremendous job. Um, but I'd also think it was a turning point of our season. We got a little bit of belief from that and carried it forward. And it was a big momentum shift in terms of performance and in terms of results. So um, I know that we're not playing for much, but in the back of my mind, we are. I think there's a lot of, there's a lot to play for in terms of the players' future. What I want to take forward, we're going to try new things. I need to expose certain people and certain situations in the next five games to, to try and learn a few things. And I, th I think that's what we're going to use the last five games, but obviously we want to win the game as well. Cheltenham had a really, really difficult start to the season, but since Daryl Clark's gone in there, as you say, they've been really competitive. What's, what's changed for them? Well, I think you've got an experienced manager that knows the levels, been prom been promo had promotions on his CV, um, a good guy. Um, I think at one point, I think they went the first nine or ten games without scoring a goal or, some, or something like that. So for he, to turn it around and even be even give, having a chance of, of surviving, is it shows the magnitude of the job. And listen, there's some clubs in this league where, <clears throat> irrespective of who the manager, they've got better players and they can they can lose a game, but then they look at the next four or five fixtures and think, we can win that one, we can win that one, we can win. just because of the sheer size of the club and the size of the squads that, uh, that you have. But when you've got someone going at a club like Cheltenham, whose budget I would imagine is small, um, they've got a few injuries, they lost Goodwin to, to Oxford in the window, um, and to continually turn, churn out performances and, and get results to try and survive, it's a really, really difficult job, so I'll turn it off to Darrell. Um, like I said, I wish him the best, I hope he stays up, but we've got a job to do this, this weekend. And you mentioned it a minute ago, but what are you hoping to see from your players in the last five games? We'll make a few changes tomorrow. We're going to give some young players that I want to expose under pressure. We watch them in these in these reserve games. It's very difficult to get a, a take on it. They then don't play for four or five games or four or five weeks. We then expose them to the Papa Johns and it's difficult for them. So this time there's no excuse. There'll be a good crowd there. It's a good game to play in. Um, and then let's see how, how good they are, how they handle experience how the young players, what happens if the lactic acid takes over and then they make bad decisions and they end up going in areas of the pitch that they don't need to, taking too many touches. So uh, let's see how they do tomorrow. How are we looking team news-wise in terms of injuries? We've got a few a few tired bodies. Pratt has, has come in today after his illness. He's not trained fully, but he might be back in the squad. Other than that, again, we'll try and get Dan Aggie half an hour. We only could get him 10 minutes. Last week, um, Jack Simpson comes in the squad. We'll try and get him some game time. Um, but there's no new injuries in terms of, of um, obviously, El Mazzuni now is out for, for a couple of months, which is not a great situation, but it could have been a lot worse. At least he knows he can, he can recover and, and he's ready for pre-season pre next year. And lastly, tomorrow's the annual retro day. You've, you and the lads have had a look at some of the old shirts that we've played in in previous years just a minute ago. How nice will it be to see some of those in the crowd tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, some of them are absolute rascal, aren't they? They're terrible. I don't know who, who designed these kits, but um, some of them are awful. But there's actually someone that has... I think it's good when they've got the names on the back as well, because obviously I'm a big Man United fan. And when you see certain kits, as soon as you see the, the kit, it resonates with a certain player. Um, so obviously, come in your kits and... Obviously, they've got their own heroes from the past. I've seen a couple at Zakawan and Matthew Bowdry, players that I've managed in the past. So, um, yeah, bring it. Sun should be out. The weather's in. Um, the temperatures are increasing. So, come and enjoy your day. Get your shirts on and let's make it. We've got three games to go at home. Let's try and make the last three games as enjoyable as, as possible. I'm not happy with the way we've just petered out. I say petered out, tough, probably the wrong word. But the results over the Easter weekend have meant that we can't have a, a challenge for the, for the playoffs. And I was disappointed driving home after the game on on Monday. However, I think when you when you you reflect and you look what's gone on through this season, I think it's a brilliant position we're in. And I also think that there's a lot of players that have had the first season at this level, and they can be really, really proud of what what they've achieved. So so brilliant. Um, 
Dan Hap, Jordan Brown, Real Soterio, Ollie O'Neill, Shaq Ford. Shaq Ford has been unbelievable. He's tired, he needs a break, but at 19 years old, and all them players are the first season league one and have the impact that they have had. We have felt short a little bit um, in terms of having players injured and, and, and numbers available and experience available, but I think there's a lot of players that can take a lot of credit this year and take us forward next year.